Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, Hi. I'm incoming. Hi. Hi. Hey there. Hello. 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 How are you doing? How are you, doing? How are you guys doing? <laughs> you, guys, you guys ready for some D&D? Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay, I'm ready for some D&D. Okay. You have to go down the road for <laughs> Long have we waited. Three times debated. D&D activated. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you catch it? In a month's progress. <laughs> nah, you need to lower it a little bit more. Oh shit, this is a deep ass well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Click, clack, clickety, clack. Last time on Wicked Ways D and D, our heroes stumbled around in the underworld for a bit. It's really dark down there. Uh, they met a crazy old gnome snurf neblin, who totally agreed to team up with them and go kill some fucking Dwergar as they go and try to find their kidnapped turtle patron. In the midst of all this, there were some shenanigans with Handsome Casey and Kai confusing the Dwergar slave masters. And our party met this lovely individual, known as Shroom Lord Scoops, who, amongst other things, found one of the party members uh, uncomfortably attractive and has decided to assist our party into going into a back way to get inside the Dwarven Fortress. Ooh. So yeah. There you, go. there you go. And that's where we left off, was everyone walking with Shroom Lord Scoops. So now we'll transport everybody to the next area. Clip clap. Once you arrive, the Shroom Lord will make his graceful exit. And by graceful, he'll just kind of roll down the hill that he carried you up. <coughs> Straight back down into his people. Which uh, uh, map are we on? I'm about to transfer you. Oh, okay. I'm, 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 I'm doing it. All right. He was able to get you guys to the higher ground and sneak you in. Ooh. Right about here. Bop. Ah! <laughs> And that, that sounded like a, a that sounded like a life changing sneeze. I feel better now. I bet. All right, loading it up, and there we are. And now it's time for some music. I need to get in character. Me loaded. Oh, no. I'm too excited. <sighs> Here's some, here's for the ambient noise. Ooh, and, layering. And this is a neat little playlist I found of dwarven music, which will help set you in the dwarf mood. It's pretty dope. Ooh, I love this which one. one are we playing first? I play both of them. At the same time? Layer the yeah. Ambient, over the ambience. <sighs> All right. You walk through the broken halls, uh, up through the upper apex of this fortress, and then you come to this first part, still maintained by the Dwergar. The Shroom Lord has left you behind, and it seems that your companion, Cad, is ready and willing to destroy. His weapon is out, his eyes shift as he looks for his prey. Somewhere within this building, you hope to find some clue as to what happened to your beloved patron. Hey guys. Hello? Mm. Hello. Hi. I'm a little at a loss to what to do here. Does anybody have any ideas? Look around. Yeah, so so right now they're on like a higher ground. They're on like a um a balcony or area. You are inside um the upper level of the fortress. He was able to find a crack in the stone to sneak you in. 
So if you recall in your first image of the fortress that there's two levels, there's the bottom level and then there's the top balcony that overlooks the bottom, you're currently inside the top. Okay. Specifically, the parapet lays just outside of this door right here. I guess we just make our way down. Keep an eye out. Look for Sheldon. So we just continue on then. Okay. Hold on. It might be wise to have someone scout up ahead. Ah, uh, well, that was on it. And be stealthy about it. Sorry. Hold on. The uh... shit's way too loud. They turn it down. It gets it gets kind of loud. What dwarves are yelling? <laughs> wow, this is the most beautiful <laughs> seance from dwarves I've ever heard. All right. Yeah, I can't wait to murder. Ooh, I'm. Uh... <laughs> I'll just continue on. <laughs> can, right. can I aid him? No, he's a he's separated from the party. Go ahead. <laughs> Continue okay. scouting. All you see right here is a, a simple uh, iron and stone door, and up ahead you can see that the elaborate marbling of the floor, although cracked in some areas, has been mostly upkept. The walls are covered in an array of intricate carvings, painstakingly detailed to depict Dwergar work, uh, Dwergar at work. I want to see if I can push this door. All right. As you press against the door, it slowly opens with a grinding of iron and stone. And inside, you see a storage area complete with barrels, sacks of flour, and wooden crates. Hmm. Just gonna go ahead and perceive anything out of the ordinary details, or if this is just, you know, where they keep their supplies. Uh, an investigation check to learn more. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, investigation. Ooh, natural 20. All right. Damn. As you investigate the storage room, you find a couple of things of note. First, that this is food. Uh, this is mostly food storage, but specifically in this barrel, you find that someone has hidden away something uh, that perhaps they didn't want others to find. Specifically, you find a rare tobacco barrel. Ooh. Very nice. Is that a, of a size to where I can just sort of sling it onto my pack? <clears throat> the rare tobacco barrel weighs 40 pounds. 40 pounds, eh? Let's see, what's my carrying capacity? I've got, a, I've got 16 strength. Uh, to be clear, the amount that you can carry is equal to your strength score times 15. Okay. Well, I think I should be able to carry this. All right. You now have one dank-ass barrel. Rare, rare tobacco barrel. All right. Kai, would you like to continue? Yes, please. <laughs> Here, you find a curious looking bridge that seems to go over a large metallic pipe. The pipe glows, but not from magic, but from heat. Uh, stealth? Wow. Wow. Interesting. All right. As you move forward, the stone bridge goes over the piping, and on the other side, you can see that the carvings of the walls continue, and that the passage ahead turns a corner to the west. <clears throat> I have a question outside. Mm -hmm. um, there's 
storage room, there's like those things, those little off purple bluish things or doors. Remember, uh, click on the map and hold spacebar to point at things. Yeah, those uh, are like doors. This, that, these are doors. Those are doors and these are walls. And this is the floor. Oh, so okay. there's a right, door guys? The back of this? Yeah. yeah, there's a door there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll go open this door then. Oh, well, uh, hold, hold on. Uh, are you going to move forward, Kai, or...? <clears throat> Come up here and I want to test the bridge integrity. All right. You test your weight on the bridge. It, like most things made by dwarves, is solid to the touch, and it seems sturdy enough, made of solid stone. But even from this distance, although you are safely above the pipe, you can feel the heat emanating from the pipe. Like a hot sun mm. right on your face. Straying a little too far here. I'm gonna go across. Okay. As you cross the other side of the bridge, you see that the path turns towards the west. You can hear the echoes of voices, soft and faint, around the corner. Alright, now let me move back down here. What are all of you doing? Um, she was watching their, their back. <laughs> So probably the entrance, um, the, just making sure she doesn't hear anything coming behind them. Nope. I'm keeping an ear open, but I'm trying not to move too much. Okay. Cad will move up to here so he can be of assistance. Arden, you're inspecting this next door, yes? Yeah, I'm going to try to, uh... if I wanted to sort of get a sense of what was in the next room, just sort of by listening... Uh, that would be perception? That would be perception, yes. Alright. I'll put my ear to the door, see if I can get a sense of what's in the next room before I open it. Ooh, 19. You hear nothing on the other side, except perhaps the faint echo of churning machinery. All whose right, purpose... This bad boy open. Whose purpose and location you cannot determine. Open it goes, then. You open the door. As it grinds away, you see here that there is a wall leading down, and there is a small alcove that leads down a staircase, uh, no doubt towards the lower level. Okay. Huh. You also hear the sound of faint voices coming from within this area. Within this area, like, over here? At the bottom of the stairs. the stairs. Okay. Hmm. I will uh, go back to this door, uh, and I will relay that information to the party. But there is a staircase and voices coming from below. All right, we can wait for Kai to... Excuse me. Uh, wait for Kai to come back then with his information. Meanwhile, Kai rolls like shit again. Kai moves ahead, <laughs> uh, covered in shadows. Probably. All right, <laughs> go ahead. As you move up to the corner, you can see that this door is slightly ajar, and you can hear the voices faintly echoing from inside the room. It seems that someone is having a... a, a well, a quiet conversation. I peek around the corner. Okay. You peek around the corner, and you see that the rest of this hallway seems clear. This door is ajar, and this door is closed. And you see that the hallway turns southward at the end. I listen. As you move up to here, you can hear the unmistakable gruff sounds of the Dwarven language, as it seems that two voices are discussing something quietly. It's unclear as to whether or not they are trying to be secretive, but they are also not trying to be heard. Hmm. Do you speak Dwarvish? 
I do not. Unfortunately, you are unable to understand what it is that they are saying. <clears throat> Listen, uh, Arden. Yeah. Want to check something out for me? There's a couple sure. dwarves talking. I can't understand a damn thing they're saying. See if I can pick anything up. Also, there's a staircase in this room behind me. We wanted to get to the lower level. That's the way we'd go. All right, let's move on up to this doorway. Shh. I'm gonna attempt to stealth myself as well. All right, two stealthy boys. <laughs> the not stealthy girls stay behind. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're the strong girls. That's a pretty good stealth roll, I'd say. Alright, Arden. You move ahead up towards the edge of the corner so that you can overhear the words being spoken. Uh, do you speak, Dwarven? I do indeed. Alright, well then I can reveal these two individuals. And this is what they are saying. <clears throat> I just don't know. It's too soon. Our beards are not long enough. I do not care for that calc. I do not care for anything save for your tender caress. The others cannot know. It is forbidden. Uh, my character blushes. <laughs> do not blush. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not them. do you not care for me, Calc? Oh tact. I care for you more than you know. Your touch is like the hardened stone of my deep rock. <gasps> he gasps. I I hand gesture to Kai. With one of my arms I make a circle and with the other I point my finger through it. <laughs> 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 to feel your hand upon mine is as if a master craftsman forges the dagger into an edged point. Uh, I walk back over here. <laughs> What'd you find out? They seem to be discussing some form of forbidden love. Forbidden love? Well, yeah, all they seem of us to be forbidden. very romantically into each other. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess we can leave them to it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> As one of the dwarves runs away, big, strong, rocky tears pebbling away <laughs> down at the side of him. For love. A chance to dream. The mountain may never hold the wind. That was deep as fuck. Oh. <laughs> and this dwarf continues on his way. <clears throat> well, they just left. You want to check out the room? Hell yeah, I do. He said the door was ajar. Yes, would you like to pick up the jar? Got him. Nice. <laughs> Good one. Yes. <laughs> I go inside. <laughs> I love that joke. That old joke. It's a spicy it's pretty joke. Proud. The ancient oh, joke. Oh, I see. <laughs> Ilioi's here. She probably smelt the weapons. All right. Smell better than you, that's for sure. Hey, 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 hey. She motions so, me. So calm down. We roll a one. <laughs> All right, Arden understands that there are weapons in this room. But truly, what is a weapon other than the weapon of love? He reflects on what he saw. Uh, within this room, you can see that this is an armory, obviously, of dwarven weapons. You can find armor of all different kinds here and weapons. So if there's any weapon that you wish, uh, you can simply find it here. So if you want to get a long sword or a short sword or anything like that, and okay. and if you need any Just armor, you can take that as well. So we're gonna 
test okay. it out. <laughs> it's a dwarven armor, isn't it? It is, but medium creatures can wear it. Mm. Um, so we're gonna do heavy armor. Mm hmm. Um, I need. Would a two handed sword count as like a. Is that. Uh, how much reach is that? Is that still five or is it. That's normal reach. If you ten. want reach, you'll have to get a weapon that has the reach yeah. property, like so a halberd or spear or something like that. Mm -hmm. There is plate mail in here, though. If you wish to wear that, or any other kind of heavy armor. Remember, though, that heavy armor has a strength prerequisite that you have to meet. Yes, which mine is. Oh, and I have to find my fucking thing. I'm at 14 modifier 2. Is that just a second? Uh, I think that's enough for everything except plate mail, which is 15. You could keep it from when Actually, you are strong enough, though. That's true. Let me... I should open this earlier. Handsome Casey snaps and leaps off what? What? and finds himself a little chainmail mitt. Oh my god, yes. Oh. <laughs> and he puts it on. He looks cute. However, he is unable to snap his fingers, and it seems that the armor is too heavy. Mm. He takes it off by wriggling somehow and finds a pair of leather gloves. He'll put on the leather gloves, he'll throw it down, he'll take a dagger, cut the fingers off of it, put it back on, and then snap his fingers. Beautiful. Ooh. Handsome, well <laughs> Handsome Casey is now 80s. <laughs> Fingerless can, chain. Do you have the item link? Because I, for some reason, can't find it. It's not... Yeah, I was having issues too. And... What's going on? What's wrong? The, the link <clears throat> of items. Like, um, the link for the items and everything. Oh, five E tools. Yeah, here I can get you that. Yeah. <clears throat> Second. So here you go. Easy. Uh -huh. um, there was like this thing I was looking at that showed me what I could wear and what I couldn't wear. Okay. Glasses can be found right here. Come on, computer. Come on, Shelly. Okay. Man, I just get out. Okay, so I didn't know that in this uh, in this playlist there is an entire section where somebody just plays a fucking kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm at that part right now. It's great. And it's so good. Playing <laughs> 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 fucking kazoo. He's making it work, though. So, it, it's so, actually great. It fits the mood. How long have they all disappeared into mm. this room? They've been gone a while. Fuck, I'm going. Come on. Go ahead, Squishy. Raid the armory. Actually, I'm Oh, gonna... they're stealing oh. things. Nice. <laughs> oh. Can she find plate mail to fit her? Yeah. yeah. Doing it. Yeah. And I know you got the strength for it. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. 18 AC, baby. I already have a sheet. I'm just trying to find the the armor stuff. It's on your class page, so if you go to classes and then rogue, uh, mm -hmm. on the left column under rogue, it'll say what your proficiencies are at the bottom. So proficiencies, and it'll say what types of weapons and armors you can use. So you can use light armor, and you can use a simple weapon, hand crossbows, long swords, rapiers, and short swords. So basically light armor. So if you wanted to pick up, like, the best light armor, if you didn't already have it. So I should be getting, uh, uh heavy chain armor, yeah? Or breastplate, because you actually have decks. I mean, if she can carry plate mail, she can carry it with her, so she well, doesn't I'm have to gonna, buy it later. Yeah, I'm gonna carry it. 
Well, breastplate would be the same AC because you have a. Uh... Is it for, then plate? Well, with your dex, it would be because you have a dex of fifteen. So breastplate gives you sixteen and allows up to a plus two from dex, and plate mail is just eighteen, so it'd be the same AC. Actually, uh, gives you fourteen, and it's medium armor. Oh, it does. It give you fourteen. I thought it was. 16. Yeah, it gives you fourteen, not sixteen. Oh well, so that, that's sixteen AC. So. Yeah. Yeah, stealthy. Uh... You can do half plate armor. You could get that still light armor would be if you went to like yeah. studded leather instead of leather. Well, but if I'm already. Going okay, thank you. For... That's what I was trying. That's what I was looking for. You could do already... half plate armor, and that would give you a max of 17 AC. Oh, oh, half plate's the thing I was thinking about. Yeah, that'll give you one oh, okay. less than full plate, and you have enough strength to to wear it. That's true, but if it is it, it still counts as. Let me see. Oh no, it's medium. Yeah, it's medium armor. I still have disadvantage. Uh, yeah, you I still do have, have disadvantage, disadvantage on stealth, so I might as well go with chainmail because it gives me 16. I can wear it. I get the dexterity uh, disadvantage. I mean, stealth disadvantage anyway. So I might as well get that one extra AC. Right? Well, I believe chainmail is heavy armor, so you don't get dex to it. Oh, okay. But medium so Okay, then yeah. I'll so the that. highest AC that you would get is is uh 17 by wearing half plate armor okay so we'll do that and i'm gonna take plate armor how much can i hold let me see is there any um studded leather for me yes there's there's basically all basic armor and weapon types Ooh. yeah i'm looking for studded leather too studded leather uh base ac of studded leather is how much uh, plus How much am I carrying? 12 plus dex. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I'm augmenting your sh characters now. So that's 12 for you. I can carry two plate armors, right? 12 for you. <clears throat> um, it, They weigh like 50 or 40 pounds or something? 65. 65 pounds? You can, get, okay. you can get one to sell later. They're yeah, worth a lot. Exactly. Your, um, that's what I'm doing. Your strength, your, the amount that you can carry is your strength times 15. So be sure to count your own equipment that you're wearing already before you start uh, stacking on stuff so that you know how much how much weight you can carry. Okay, two ten. Yes. Ooh, I forgot to check Triton when I got third level because ooh, I can do a tasty new spell from racial shit. That's four ah oh, shit I can't. God damn it. I'll just leave it. I can carry one though, I'm sure. Just to sell it, because it's worth fifty. Oh. <laughs> Actually, full can full arc carry this poor boy. Let's see. I think uh, highest strength in the party is probably Falor. 18. <laughs> oh, you should carry extra plate mail. I, I'm, I'm doing the math right now. Okay. One thing I really like about map tools, I can go enhance, 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 <laughs> enhance. Are there uh, crossbows in there? Yep. <clears throat> oh, and arrows, huh? Mm-hmm. Lots of arrows. Let's. All right. So I'm looking for. Are there like, um, like brass knuckles or anything? Oh yeah. 
Mm. You can also get a cestus if you wish, which is like a, a plated glove, which works like brass knuckles. Well, I was thinking for handsome Casey. Ooh, I like it. Mm. Yes. Yeah, you get a cestus on him. Also, there's a train in there. A full-on <laughs> steam <Sorry>. locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Um, is, so is there a rapier that's better than the side mine? Of the train. I don't realize when it's coming. What's up, Kai? Uh, I just have a standard rapier. Is there one that's better than mine? Nah. There's only basic equipments in here. Basic equipment. Perfect. So, what would what, you call that thing? A cestus? For... A cestus? How do you even spell that? A C E S T U S. Handsome Casey gains a cestus. He tries to snap his fingers. He can. Ooh. Hmm. I'm gonna nick myself a longsword if there is one in there. Yep. yep. Sweet. <clears throat> if there is, you want to know one something there. great? Mm -hmm. I could carry. Two sets of plate mail. Do it. <laughs> Wait, silent before you do I that. I mean, besides the shit I'm actually wearing right now. Sorry, go ahead. Is there a lance in here? A lance? Yeah. Okay. Lance What's the better? You're really gonna want that. What's the better one? Lance is the hell? best. It's like the best weapon you can have because it's 1d12 piercing plus reach. The only problem is that you have disadvantage unless you are mounted. But soon enough, there will be a mounted creature coming along, and it's free, so we It also only weighs six pounds. Wait, what? Hold on. I don't it's have... also one I'm not a paladin, Christy. Oh, wait. But I'm, I'm getting high speed soon. Then, oh god. Just buy a horse, forehead. I mean, yeah, <laughs> we but do. fine. We fine. do have Whatever. a good horse. I mean, she is... She probably will get a horse, to be honest. Okay, fine, fuck it. Um, I'm grabbing Lance. It's also great because it's one-handed, so you can have a shield with it. So, hug. All right, so I'm dropping my scale. Hold on. I don't need that shit anymore. Bird on a stick. <laughs> I wield my halberd. Squawk, motherfucker. <laughs> Like a toucan sitting on the fucking end of a we stick. We didn't get the diamond <laughs> yet, did I? Right? No. That wasn't Here yet. Mm -mm. I don't think okay. so. Okay. I now have three sets of plate mail, one of which I'm wearing and a lance. Perfect. But I'm keeping my Warhammer out, because it's, it's mine. I am getting myself a hand crossbow and some arrows. Rather, uh, whatever it requires. Bolts. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna... I'm Fuck doing it. it. I'm getting another one. Another one. Another one. Wait, another is any of this shit silvered? Wait. No. Only oh, basic not. weapons. It's basic. Okay, fair. Uh, I kinda want... That. Should I? Sure, why not? <clears throat> Add on a great... I'm gonna get myself 20 bolts. Seems about right. <clears throat> oh, how many arrows are we allowed? Uh, let's see. Arrows have weight. Let me go look that up for yeah, you. Uh, an, arrow, an arrow of 20 is a pound. Uh, 20 arrows are one pound. Um, so you're going to need a quiver to hold them, and a quiver can hold, like, 40 arrows, so you'll need extra quivers past that, so I'd say... That's also a pound. Yeah. There also comes a point of practicality. I'd say you could carry yeah. 60 arrows on you without it being oh. absurd. 60 arrows it is. Nah, right, I'm oh, gonna restock yeah, to 40 arrows then. <laughs> Max out then. Wait a minute, I didn't realize... Behold, <laughs> I am laden with arrows. <laughs> Okay, so now I have a quiver with 20 bolts in it. Cool! Probably get two more. Hold on. I'm sorry. Now that bookkeeping's good. Uh, do we need two quivers or one quiver to put 60? You're gonna last 60. 
Uh, each quiver can hold uh, probably up to, I'd say, 30 arrows if you overstuff it. So okay, two quivers, each 30. It's a total of four pounds. <laughs> I should probably not get this extra thing, but... No, because I'm gonna be. Yeah, no. I don't need it. Okay. One more question. Actually, so this is what I'm getting. I still have it, by the way. Here, I'll fix it. Okay, two more things. Can I get a net and a mall? Yep. Got it. Done. I'm good. Is there anything other than like weapons and armor? Oh, only weapons and armor. Okay. Two. <clears throat> uh, just as a reiteration, my uh, long sword and my shield are soulbound. Got it. How much would you consider a harp to weigh? Most instruments are either like two or one pound. At least two pounds. Okay. Harp's a pretty big instrument. <laughs> yeah. Depending on how well, big it's like you go. It's like a hand harpy. It's a hand harp. <laughs> cool. This is not an armory for bards. I can't get my other instruments sub. All right. Is everybody uh stocked? <laughs> In armory for Bob, did loaded. you need a music store? Yeah. I think there's a musician. <laughs> That's the best the place. <laughs> Oof, um, so many weapons. Are we dealing with encumbrance as well, Arcadum? Yeah. Like, are we going to have problem moving around? Okay. Yep. So don't push yourself too far. Yeah. Or yeah. Gonna... I'm going to drop that no, other plate no, mail. No, like, fuck I that. Took literally nothing from the armory. <laughs> I only took like a couple uh, stuff. I took a bunch of stuff, so you know I'm gonna just take put one back. Hold on. <laughs> Let me oh, see no, how much I have. <laughs> Everyone's it's backtracking. Plate, no, it's just this plate mail that I have is 65 pounds. That's what's taking up all my. That's heavy, well, man. Yeah. I said heavy shit. Mhm. Mm but it's so, it costs. It's good. Yeah. It's worth it. You just gotta yeah, get it out of here. Wait, I, mm. no, I don't need it. So did you say that you're counting the weight for everything, or is it just weapons and armor? Well, everything that you're holding, but I don't think any of you have anything that's that's going to weigh a lot. Like, you have your packs, which are like five pounds, and your clothes don't count. Okay, cool. Mm, I think I can't take the plate armor. Actually feels bad. Does our gold weigh anything? No. Gold doesn't have well non excessive gold doesn't have weight. Okay. <laughs> can anybody carry this plate armor for me? I can't I might have That's to a drop hard my negative, to my be dear. honest. That's a hard <laughs> negative, my dude. <dear. laughs> Listen. I need to be able to dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh there my food's know. here, I'll be right back. Okay. He did with four weapons. Good. I'm happy that he did because it's right the bookkeeping <laughs> section. <clears throat> Fuck it. I don't need it, I guess. I'm doing some weight stuff myself. I don't have a lot of stuff on me, thankfully, but we'll see. I don't know. I it... feel like I'm the only one in the party who's just like, man, I'm good. Oh, I mean, I I've got, got, yeah, I want to get what I like, can. Yeah. I started with my maximum armor. I have a long bow and two short so it's like I don't really need to vary up my weapons. That's three for the long sword. Unless I wanted a short bow, but honestly, that's very situational. I might just drop my warhammer and it just keep my mall. You're the only one prepared. My mall is does my mall does a two d uh two d six, and my warhammer only does a d ten. Ah, it's technically better. Is it is it the same damage type? Uh, n no. Um, uh, actually, yeah, they do bludgeoning, bludgeoning, I think, yeah. Yeah, then just yeah. swap them out, easy clap. Yeah, yeah. Normally, I, the only that. problem is, 
Oh, I'm a dummy? Actually, no, because I need... I can't use the mob because I have a fucking, um, shield. Shield. Oh, yeah, yeah that's why. Yeah. It's a- that wait, yeah, it's a two-handed, so I can't. <laughs> Never mind. I'm a sad, but it's fine. You could drop the, um, the uh, fucking whatever I told you to get, and we can just buy Lance. one later. They're not expensive. It's true. Hold on. But I could swing it at people. Okay, yeah. You could, but true. you have disadvantage if you're not mounted. Yeah, yeah. Let me make sure I have my shield counted, I mean. Six pounds. Let me count all this shit up now. Fuck. Okay, I'm back. Welcome 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 back. No! I'm exactly- wait. I mean, I think I'm exactly perfect that I won't be encumbered, but I can't, like, pick up anything else. It's okay. Some of us have some extra weight, I think. <laughs> like me, who grabs literally I mean, to be fair, I could just drop the plate mail at any time. Yeah, we could. And just be like, ha, fuck you. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit, it's out. Weaponize the plate mail. <laughs> Barely What's the carry weight thing you gotta do again? What's the statistic? It's strength. Your, your strength, strength score, score times, times 15. fifteen. Strength score times fifteen. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's your maximum weight, not your like encumbrance weight. What's encumbrance determined by? Uh, ratio, I think. If you, how? What's your mm -hmm. strength? Though? I'm sad. I think it's like your max. Divided by something. Cause well, max for oh, let me see something. Max divided by ten, you said? Uh, no. I don't know what it's no. divided Hold by. On. Hold on. Uh, your encumbered is divided by three, I think. And then your heavily encumbered is double that. Oh, I found it. In oh the, shit! Uh, I'm only carrying if... 28 pounds, and I can carry 50. If if you have more than five times your strength score, you're encumbered. If you have more than 10 times it, you're heavily encumbered. Wait, sorry, sorry. Do that again. Uh. If you have more than five times your strength score, you're encumbered. If you have more than 10 times of it, you're heavily encumbered, and then you hit your max. So I've got plenty of space. Mm -hmm. I can carry 21.5 pounds on me if anyone needs me to carry shit. Yeah. I, on the other hand, am dropping my second plate mail. I'm sorry, it's I want it. The dream is there, but I no. Want... How much? Is, how much are you over? Because I could carry some I stuff. I am. I'd be it's heavily encumbered. Pounds. It's oh. Pounds. It's 65, yeah. So yes. uh, minus that, I'm at 115, which is nice. That's fine. Yeah, and I might even drop plants. We'll see. Yeah. I'm encumbered at the moment, and I could technically drop my lance, but it wouldn't. I'm gonna be encumbered because just having my plate, like just having plate armor and like my warhammer, I'll probably be pushing it with my priest pack. Gotcha. I'm encumbered because I'm greedy. I could carry your priest pack for you if it helps. Mm -hmm. 24 pounds. 24? Wait, I think I might be able to carry that. No, I, I can't. No, no, that's fine. Uh, oh my god, I give the fish girl my net. No. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do that to you. I won't no, do it's that okay. To you. It's okay because you do it, I just wink at you and say, I'm a real catch. Oh my fuck. <laughs> 
God damn it, Christy. <laughs> I'm a bard! Mm -hmm. Fucking bards. I love right. bards. Alright, I'm done. I'm ready. I'm not taking that second plate. I'm sad. You can get something that weighs less? That's what I... Uh, I just- I don't want to be, like, heavily encumbered. I'm good. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying, like, there's, like, some other arms you could get that don't weigh as much, but still give quite a bit of gold. Uh... Hey, um, ladies, um, I know it takes a while to get ready and all, but can we hurry up? Look, just because you can't carry anything in your puny little arms. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Actually, maybe not in the armor section would be a good idea. Yeah. Like the armor section's way too heavy. Yeah, for what I'm getting from it, no. Yeah. I'm I'm good. I'm I'm good. I'm happy. If we have something big and shiny to carry you back with us, I will do so. Actually, mm. looks to. Our, our resident uh, ranger boy. What's up? You have 40 pounds that need to be carried. Mm. You don't have to. It's fine. I don't care. I'll carry I don't actually barrel. care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got this barrel. Are you encumbered oh, with the shoes. barrel? No. How much will the just... barrel get you? I don't know. It says it's full of rare tobacco, so... Mm. I'm like, sell that shit. Either that or we just, you know, fucking Don't give it to Sheldon. <laughs> Don't give it to Sheldon. That depends. How uh, how much value do you put on a fucking wild trip, my dude? Yeah, <laughs> like, it could be priceless. <laughs> I mean, why don't we just smoke some of it now? Because we're they're going to be a little bit longer, I'm sure. I'm done. I'm done. Been done. I, don't think uh, I just need two more minutes to finish my burger. I I'm so close. Let him, let him do it. Do it. Like, I don't know how old tobacco barrels work, but I don't think these things reseal easily. <laughs> Dude. Just good, man. Like, I think if I open it, it's just Oh, open wait, forever. shit. I put the fucking longsword back. I can't use my dex modifier for this shit. That's useless to me. Grab a rapier. Don't I have a rapier this. already. Then you're good. Yeah, I was hoping to get more damage, but no. That ain't happening. I want to actually hit someone, thanks. I'm glad I realized that now. Well, uh... Mm -hmm. Wait, my shield adds AC. I'm an idiot. Yeah, adds two AC. I'm going to have twenty-two oh, yeah, AC. AC. It's gonna be yeah. great. AC. Oh, Wait, it's busted. What the fuck? Me? No, What's your? No, her armor. Yeah. Oh. I don't. I, I don't have to do any fixes, right? Our no. game already did it for me. With I can't put it in for you. Yeah, you're good. Alright, I'm just adding my weapons. Oh, we got it. Just so I'm not all fucked. I'll fix this later. Um... So, uh... Yeah, grab some of the fucking ice cream from the freezer. Mm. You know, next time, Sheldon, maybe we should... Uh, when we get Sheldon and we get back to town... Arden... Let's not take the girls with us when we go shopping next time. Mm. Mm. Alright. I'm good. I'm ready. Just a Pock. I'm good. Just adding this stuff. Call me White Glint. I am AC given flesh. <laughs> no, me. That's how I feel when I have the cloak of protection, fucking ring of protection. I mean, it's Plate about the time that the fighters got a higher AC than me. Yeah. It just took forever. <laughs> We're here, though. Look, we've been busy saving your ass. We haven't been able to make money. My ass? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. 
Oh, okay. Well, then you can do everything then. The only one I'm invested in saving is Sheldon and Cad. So I don't understand why you guys hate me so much. I just I'm just trying to get shit done. All right. <laughs> I just want my good turtle boy back. For the record, I didn't hate you before you, you know. <laughs> well, never mind. Before what? <laughs> before you almost burned something that was important to the whole thing? Yeah. I oh, I did that. burn it. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, not uh, uh, the but if you had burned it when you were going it. to, it would have fucked. I everything. was referring. I was referring to you calling me stupid, like you're being right now, having this argument when we're trying to be stealthy. Oh yeah, I'm small. Um, you guys aren't stealth. <laughs> so uh, I'm dumb Ben. Not stealth. really being stealthy. <laughs> we're more stealthy. Silent is what she's trying to get at. Uh, oh, okay, well, We're let's, let's all be silent with, with, uh, you know, big-ass plate mail stomping on the ground. Alright, let's continue on, shall we? Yeah, alright. <clears throat> Should we Baca. go down to that staircase I found? Uh, there's also a staircase down here, too, so... Um... But that leads to somewhere else. That looks, like, bigger. That might be, like, the main staircase, whereas the one I found was small, like a... Sideway. Mm -hmm. I think we could come at him from the sides if we go down the smaller one. But are we looking for confrontation right now? No, but it would be better to slip past him if we didn't go down the main way. Was there immediate oh, yeah. sound from either staircase? There were voices uh, at the bottom of the other one, but assumedly there would be at the other big one as well. If you want to scout ahead, go ahead for it. Hmm. Well, I'll leave it up to the group. I mean, uh, can we, can we, can we, can we kill some dwarf god? <laughs> oh, is that, is that what you want? I mean. I want to do some things that yeah. I'm arguing sitting here. Why don't you just, just go, like, see if you hear any voices from the bottom of that staircase, and that'll determine which one we go down. Mm. If there's also voices, we'll go down the smaller one. If there's no voices, we'll go down the big one. I mean, alright. I get all stealthy. Alright. You approach the door. It is closed. You shift into the shadows. Do you open the door? Perception check. As you place your ear against the door, you do not hear anything, save for the echoes of distant machinery. I crack the door. As you open the door softly and slowly, inside, you do not see anything in this alcove, and you see that a large set of stairs goes down. There doesn't appear to be anything over there. It's quiet. All right. Let's go down the big stairs, then. Wait, wait a moment. Wait, 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 wait. You should scout ahead. Casey, Casey. He'll snap to attention. Okay, we're, we're currently stealth. Can you slip in through the door there? A little crack? He'll Go snap in affirmation. Ch check out the, uh, the staircase here. Uh, flop, 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 flop. Someone needs to draw art of handsome Casey so that he can have a token. Yeah, I don't have a token for. <laughs> I mean, like, a, like an armored, disembodied hand just snapping. 
Well, it's got a cest on it. Draw that. Um. All right. So we wait. Is that handsome enough? <laughs> 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 Da 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 da. What you find? He'll slap the ground. He'll hold up three. Three dwarfs. He'll slap the ground once in affirmation, and then he'll slap the ground some more, and then he'll hold up a five. Wait. So three in one room, five in another. He'll slap the ground once at affirmation. And then he'll do hold up one finger, he'll slap the ground again, one finger, and he'll kind of hop up and down with that one finger. And then he'll do like a, a thing where he's showing levels, and he'll show top level, and he'll slap the ground again. Each group is on a different level. He'll shake his head and he'll thieve sign to you. Uh, there's Big Boss. Oh. Is he with the group or is he separate? Walking around. All right, I relay. <laughs> so we get a hold of one of these people to tell us where Sheldon is. Hmm. I'm sorry, oh. I just read something in the chat. Mute specialist. <laughs> <laughs> Big boss from Metal Gear Solid. Anyway, continue. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, all right, we have two we options. Down the side staircase, then. Right, we can go back the original staircase and see if we can get any information out of those guards down there. Or we just head in. What do you guys Maybe think? Maybe if we go the back way, we get the can drop on this. Can you speak uh, door? I can speak Dwarven, so Good. if we overhear any conversation, they can interpret. She nods. Right, so knock out, don't kill, yet. So down the side staircase, see what we can overhear? Did I just, like, lose connection? God damn it! Hi. I lost connection. Oh, fucking Discord, dude. Oh, I think I'm back. Yeah, you're back. All right. Hi. All right. What were you saying? You were talking to Cad. Yeah, she was saying uh, when we get find these guard guys, we need information. We shouldn't kill them yet. Cad you nods. That? She nods back. Yeah. Let's we go then. To go down the. Uh... We agreed to go down the side staircase, uh, me taking points so I can overhear conversations in Dwarvish. Let's go over there. Feel like a little order of march going. Speaking of art, I don't know if you guys saw the fan art that Art Squad drew of all of you. It was pretty good. Wait, what? Oh god, hold on, I gotta see this. Shit. It was really nice. Look, hold on. It was really nice. Which disc was it? I was in uh, stealths, I think. How long ago? It is a while. Mm -hmm. Just go to the art archive. It's faster that way. I'm scrolling up. Can you link me after? I don't have his Discord. <laughs> wow. Look, I don't have many Discords, okay? I'm trying. I fucking hate just so many, so cluttered. Alright. Oh, get... I think I found it. Hang on, was it, uh... Was it this one? Yeah, that's it. 
Yeah, oh. this was my uh, oh, yeah. username Madness. So good. Yes. I like I like Casey like behind his shoulder <laughs> like yeah, yeah he's his so thumbs good. up and he's like propped up. <laughs> it's not often times I get drawn as the dungeon master. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you're at the uh, <clears throat> so it's you're at the top of the staircase. Uh, down at the bottom of the staircase, you can see that there is a uh, light of what you suspect to be a forge. You can hear the sound of changing pressure and the sound of errant hammers hammering down on iron. It's a forge. Be careful. It'll be uh, heavily guarded. This is where the element of surprise comes most handy. Just so you know, Arcadum, I am staying near the door to keep my ear open in case someone starts coming down the hall. Got it. You're lighting your cap, flapping the breeze. <laughs> uh, can we see over... or are these walls? These are walls. You have to get down in here. Okay. Hold on. Oh. The chat's gonna lose their mind if I don't show them the fan art. Hold on. Mm. Here. <gasps> here. It's so good. Very good. I love Paul is just standing in the background snickering at everyone. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Let's get it. Let's get it. Alright. <clears throat> you wanna come up front here, stealthy boy? Yeah, I'm still I'm still creeping. He's creeping. <clears throat> Alright, and as the two of you come to the end of the staircase, uh, you hear the following. And I will reveal them since they're... You can hear them talk. <clears throat> I just don't think it's right. I don't either, but truly who are we to question such a thing? It'd be different if it wasn't the commander's son. That's the last thing we need is this line ending here because a, a son don't like the girls. It's not up to me, I guess. I have a question for you lot. Uh, what's that, Forge Master? I notice you're all standing around talking about bullshit when you could be swinging hammers. The fuck back to work! Stupid fucking ninnies. What do they even know of love? They know nothing. Not like me. <laughs> I'm sure he was loved. Um, that's like what a... that's what you hear. <clears throat> Sounds like an intense love story unfolding. Well then. Uh, should we, uh, kind of go out Kill and try them? to talk with them, or, you know, think they're reasonable? What? I don't think so. You don't even speak Dwarvish. Yeah, listen, I'll just... These are the there. guys who almost killed and, like, tried to enslave us mm -hmm. in the yeah, sport. Yeah, 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 but, but, but I'll just, like, you know, flip my hair. What are you gonna... What, what will work. that accomplish? I'll just... I want to... Just okay, you know it. what? You know what? This will work. You flip your hair and create a distraction, and I'll shoot them in the face when they try to attack you. Oh, okay. All right. Here, I got an idea. Um... Fuck it. How do you knock out a son of a bitch? All right. So knocking people out works like this. You deal damage to them as if you were going to kill them, but at the ending blow, you can choose to make it non-lethal if you're using a melee weapon. There are other ways to knock them out through the use of poisons, and uh, you can also, uh, if you were an assassin, you have a pretty strong opening swing that you might be able to. But mm -hmm. that's pretty much what you're dealing with. You are a rogue, however, so you do a lot of damage to, an un to, a, to a target that doesn't know you're there, so there is a very real chance that you can alpha strike them down. I have uh, three do doses of poison, by the way. Can I check on what kind of poison I have? You sure can. Okay. Uh, 
How do I check it? <laughs> Investigation. Alright. Because I got it from the, the thingy, the bobber. Okay. Skill check. Investigation. Nice. Alright. The poison that you have, the three doses, specifically is deep sleep poison. An enemy struck by this poison is put to sleep for one minute. It, but they have to fail a constitution saving throw of 15. It's actually... That could work. So, should we give, give it a whirl? Yeah, can you put one of those poison things on, like, an arrow? I could shoot the far away one. Yeah. And then should we leave the foreman up for talking purposes? Or should we just poison them all? Well, if we and put then, him to uh, sleep, then we could wake tie just up. the foreman up and interrogate him. Okay. Uh, do we have another... Does anybody else shoot bows? Uh... I think Essie might. You know what Illoyoi does as well. <clears throat> yeah. He has a longbow. I have a crossbow. Okay, um, hold on. Fuck. But it serves as range special. There we go, that's safer. Can we use your bow? Why? You have your own. Well, there's three guys. We need the element of surprise, and I have three sleep potion uh, poisons. Well, just <sighs> give me an arrow. I'm not using my own. You're a pain in the ass. This is the shadow walker who won't just walk up to them and kill them. I'm I'm good. I mean, at this point, he, she's not. Dude, if she wants to die. To just about. let her fucking die. Or should she's... I stay by the door? Don't watch her ass. I need you. Oh, great. They're being wait. Mm. Whatever. Yes. Mm. What? Our uh, our dungeon master's having some issues. With yeah, them. my shit is. It's oh. now. Can so, what are you trying to do? It's no, it's 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 my internet. I'm also my s my ISP is. I think we're good now. I think I'm back. <clears throat> all mm -hmm. right. So you gave her the arrow and all that good stuff. We're good. Yeah, I, gave, I gave her the arrow, but she's arguing with me. <clears throat> so, are you gonna do this, or you just want to hit him over the head? Kill something. Okay, that I'll was not an answer. I'll hit the far one. She'll hit the close, or she'll hit the foreman. You go for the closest one. Where? Here. Okay. Take my fucking arrow. Here's a bottle, of potion, uh, poison. Here you go, Arden. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm stealthed. Should probably step out first. Is, is one vial of poison one arrow? Uh, let me actually check that. I get the feeling you can put it on more than one, but let me. I think yeah. someone said would... five in chat. I'm gonna go look at poison. <clears throat> it's at this point that I know that I have the spell, but I did not hear any of the conversation. <laughs> three pieces of ammunition. So okay. that means three three arrows per vial. Got it. Here, huh? All right, you guys take your arrows and dip it in my poison. Be mature. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we're good then. All right. Here I go. All right. Time to initiate sneak attack. All right. And I fire at Durgar Smith too. All right. Take your shot with advantage. <clears throat> How do I do that with advantage? Just roll twice. Oh, okay.
That's tragic. <laughs> Would you like to use your inspiration to roll again? You still have some from last. Yeah. From last. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> sure. Did I just hit it yeah. again? Yeah. Roll again, yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, the, the, uh, uh, two, the, the two of us get to make our attacks as well. Hold on, I'm, I'm not through holding my sides. Okay. <laughs> Our poison. All right, all right. Kai notches his arrow, takes aim at the Dwergar, and then fires it against his bow, snapping his arrow in two. Hmm. The other two can take your shots. Yes. All right, I'm going for Durgar Smith three, and uh, Ilioi is going for four. Uh, are they also with advantage? Yeah, you're catching them off guard. Bam, bam, seventeen. All right, and, and that's against number one, two, uh, three, or four. Three, three, three. All right, number three. Hold on, let me deal that damage. You do not have sneak attack, which is going to be five, and then I'll make my Constitution saving throw. All right, I made Whoa. it. Jesus. I am a Jesus. I am a dwarf, so. Yeah. yeah. All right, your shot, Ilioi. That's a hit. Against which one? Four. Uh, Four. Foreman. Yeah. Four, uh, Foreman. All right. Taking damage of ten. And let's see if I fail mine. Come on, fail that. Fail that. Oh. Yes. The Foreman kind of. Stumbles and falls over asleep. All right, we can kill the trash fucking boys and then Oi, interrogate the four men. Just so I'm not fucked up, I can action surge right now, and I just have to rest to get it back. Uh, not during a surprise round. Okay. Surprise round, you only get one action. Uh, in turn order. All right, now we get to roll initiative. Yeah. All right, hold on, let me do that. All right, adding. And rolling, sorting. All right, now it's time for some battle music. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I missed you guys. <laughs> this actually worked out very well because now we can kill the two. Fucking trash mobs, and then just interrogate the Corbin. There, are, there are some that do not know how much D and D means to me, but getting to play it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, you're, I mean, you're, you're shocking me. Uh, since you missed three of our sessions. Hey. <laughs> you can't see my face, but I'm just biting into my fucking bottom lip <laughs> as hard as I can. <laughs> The taste of copper blood in my mouth is the only deterrent. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where the fuck is this? I had, I had this ready to. Go. Oh my god, hold on. I remember fucking <laughs> when Arcadum we didn't have D and D, and he was just sitting there in the call for an hour. Just my rage is boundless. <laughs> well, I can't find where it is. So, we're going to do this instead. Let's mm. do this. Hell yeah, brother. The brother of many hells. We're just going to do Darkest Dungeon. Fuck it. Darkest Hell Dungeon yeah. works. I can't find the custom music I found. <laughs> Always good for us. I assume it's not meant to be timestamp. All right, let's do it. Hey. <clears throat> Arden, you gain initiative. All right, I'm going to fire at a uh, Smith 3. Longbow. That will miss. All right, I'm going to move up uh, over here. Do do in do not move board? into that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to I'm going to move uh, this way. All right, hop over the counter. Yep. Ilioi. Um, it's just, uh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Uh, I guess we're just gonna walk over to this guy and uh, hit him real hard with the, uh, my longsword. 
Oh god, not with that. Yikes. Anything else? Um, nah. Okay. Falor. She gonna run. Wait, where? How the fuck, how far do I run? Dummy. There. Right up to this motherfucker. We That mother. Yeah. And she can't do anything else because she dashed. Oh wait, no. She's gonna cast um Shield of Faith on herself. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So you've AC of twenty? Uh actually twenty two because I have my shield out. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Big nice. Yeah, that's, my That's a big AC you have there. Kai! <laughs> <laughs> Me. Um, am I still stealth or, or do I need to. Uh, no. Stealth was given up when you attacked. Okay. Alright, I guess we will uh, fire <clears throat> and. Uh, the Drugar. Well, hold up. It's been a while, so remember, you can break line of sight, bonus action stealth, and then come back and attack with stealth. Because you're a rogue. Oh. You can do that. Oh. It's been a while since we played, so you might have forgot it. Stealth check. Ooh. Well, I still have to roll perception. Uh, unfortunately, my passive will get that, so that's unfortunate. So just uh, attack as normal. Yep. But remember, Shot attacking him. that guy does give you yeah. sneak attack. Two. Yep. Man. That is tragic. Yeah. Low roll central. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not rolling well today. Alright, it is Cad's turn. What kind of nerf was put in place on this game? What the fuck? Yeah, right, the balance changes. <laughs> 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 Melinda! Oh. Go! <laughs> you come around the corner. <sighs> so bold. Oh boy, it's my turn. Da 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 da. Ah, oh, damn, that sucks. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna have to sprint ten feet. Because I'm not getting around this edge. Hold on. Trips down the stairs. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna do because there's no way in hell that I'm gonna. So. Yeah, hey. that's it for me, I guess. Arden. All right. Number three, longbow. Again. Yikes. Oh yeah, they have fucking dwarf age or AC. Fuck. Well, that will uh, unfortunately miss. Does this counter count as like half cover if I like move here? Yeah. Cool, cool. Then I'm gonna bunker down here. <clears throat> Wait a minute. That's my turn. What the? Did it not add the? That's that's odd. I was gonna say those two didn't attack. I was like, yeah. Um... Are they passive? Because I don't want to. <laughs> no, I just didn't get to act. Here, I'll just act real quick. I'm at the bottom. For some reason, I didn't add him to initiative. All right. <clears throat> I'll take my turn now. Okay. Uh, so here we go. <laughs> Intruders! Fukaz Kalal! This one will move over here, <laughs> and we'll pick up a big-ass dwarven axe. This one will move over here and provoke. It gets lapped. Oh, two of us. Okay. Three of you, actually. Oh, oh. Sorry, my little right there. Cat goes first. Oh, shit. Oh, God, he critted. <laughs> he critted. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 14 Was damage. Raging too? Yeah. Oh, minus. I did 11 damage. 11 damage. <laughs> well, that was costly. Oh, <laughs> oh. 
Uh, as Cad strikes one of the Dugar, his eyes run with tears as well as rage. He's at rage. Ilioi. We'll slap this number two, hopefully. No. I'm not gonna do that, I guess. So we'll just uh, stand here. And I am. Oh, yeah. Falor. Uh, she's gonna go with friend here and finish off the number two. Slam to the head. The nice. big bonk. <laughs> oh. Oh. Kai. Me. Um. I can hit. Uh, so, how does the swashbuckler thing work? I can. If I'm in five feet of it, I get an advantage. I don't. Uh, I get the sneak attack. If yeah. You're uh, within five feet of it, and no one's within five feet of you. Yeah. Your allies. But remember, your normal rogue stuff still counts. Basically, swashbuckler almost always has sneak attack. Mm -hmm. Got it. So. I guess. I'm just gonna hit it with. I guess I'm gonna try my my dagger and. I'm not trying to kill. I just have to say blunt, right? Basically, when you uh, knock him down, you could say it's non lethal. Alright. So I just. I'm gonna try my dagger. Which has that plus one on it, I guess. Mm hmm. It should be updated. Your, t your macro should be updated. Uh, it is not, so I'll do that real quick for you. But it hit anyway. Yeah. Alright, and it does six damage, which is enough. Moments before the strike would strike neck, you turn the blade and hit him in the back of the head with your handle. Or with your hilt, excuse me. And. Uh, It is Cad's turn. <laughs> he'll jump up on top of the counter, knocking weapons everywhere, and he'll stand face to face with the dwarf because he's short. He'll raise up his bastard sword and bring it down on top of the Dwergar. And he will miss. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's see. This guy's pretty much full off. La da 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 da. -da. Give me inspiration, mom. <laughs> you want inspiration now and not later? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you call me mom, I might give you inspiration. <laughs> Literally, call her mother. Right now, in character. <laughs> Just fucking do it, you won't. Uh, you're right, I won't. <laughs> do not touch me. Uh, for your uh, feature, Mimika, does it mean that I have to be right next to you? Or could I be within 10 feet? You have to be adjacent to her. Fuck, okay. Well, in that case, uh, I'm not giving you inspiration. Okay. But I will give you a health action. I need it. Hold on. No, it's whatever I'm standing next to. If anything I'm standing next to targets somebody else, no matter where it is, I hit them. Oh, there you go then. Oh! Yes, it does work. I saw his meet it. I see! So you can, yeah. If he ever targets you, I can hit him. Oh! Sorry, no help action for you. That's okay. Hey, hit me! <sighs> So, he speaks in Dwarven, you finally think you're gonna get your vengeance, huh? You'll pay for what you've done. Not if I cut out your legs from under you, you little fucker! 
Oh, shit. No shit. The blow strikes against Cad's flesh, bouncing off from his tattoos and pure, maliced rage. Oh. Is that all you got? You broom handled fuck! Wait, I still get to hit him, too. I didn't hit him. <laughs> I did. Never mind. <laughs> she was. Also, does, does, I'm next to uh, I'm next to Kaz now, so I give him. Oh wait a minute! I realize I can still give Arden the help action, so he has his help action while I'm also over here. Okay, cool. Um, All right, I'm gonna hop up here. Uh, double short sword. Two weapon fighting. Uh, how does that work with the help action? No, four times I'm pretty it sure. helps the first one, I think. It's only the first attack. Oh. Okay, so here's uh, first attack. Here's second attack. Hit him once. Ilioi. That's damage. Yeah, you gotta roll a lot of times against Dwarf AC. Okay. Let me see what I got right here. Um, I'm going to swap to my greatsword and to roll, I just have to put it in brackets. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can just make you a macro real quick if you'd like. Can you do that really quick? Yeah, I can do that. Great, sorry. There you go. I might as well test this out. Okay, cool. So. Oh! Okay. That hits it. Uh, yeah, 2D okay, got it. Bonk. Ow! Ow. <laughs> Valor. Just wait, does weapon Four change ow. count hmm? as like a, a bonus action or is just a, like a... Does what count as what? Uh, swapping weapons? Or is that, that count as item Alright, so, so basically you drop your shield and you drop your other weapon and then you item interaction pull out your greatsword. It's a free and action to if... drop stuff. Okay, so Ooh. then if I were to, like, I could drop things twice. Yeah, you get more than one free so action then turn. I could drop my greatsword and summon my shield? Yes, but remember, equipping a shield takes an action, not an item interaction. It, no, well, yeah, it's my bonus action. It's my summon. Oh, my... oh, right, you have a... Yeah yeah yeah, 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 you can do that, yeah. Because so of your Eldritch yeah, Knight yeah. stuff. Me do that. So I have my sword now. <laughs> I mean my shield now. Well, that's busted. Good. That's. I mean, you're sacking your bonus action to do that. That's a pretty. I mean, what else am I gonna use it for? I mean, there's Actions lots of. Well, well, Eldritch Eldritch Knight gets the ability to cast an attack at the same time later, so that'll be eaten up later. But for my bonus mm -hmm. action. Okay. Mm-hmm. It uses your bonus anyway. Falora, please continue. Yes. More ouch. Oh, maybe not more ouch. Sad face. It's fine. Uh, that's my turn. There's so many ayayas in my chat right now. What is going on? Kai. Let's see. I'll move him over here. Get him out of the way. Dagger. That will unfortunately miss. <clears throat> then I will. And. All right. Next is Cad's turn. Sorry, I had to discipline chat for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Tad will raise up his weapon again. Oh. Essie. Christy. She's muted, I can't believe Christy's fucking dead. You're muted, Miss Universe. Hey, it's your turn. She might be busy. I heard people talking in the background. Also, you might want to make uh, the unarmed and halberd attacks right now if you want, because that's going to be a thing. Mr. Arcadum. Yeah. Unarmed's easy. Okay. We can just do that on the fly, but I can make the halberd. Do you name it Longsword 2? No, I just duplicated that so I wouldn't have to do anything and... Oh, okay. uh, yeah. oh I see, I see. Do you need the numbers or you have them? Mm. Say again? Do you need the numbers or you have them? Alright, I already know what they are. Oh, oh. Excuse me, Mr. Dean. <laughs> what? 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 I do one thing! I do one thing! <laughs> My entire life's existence is committed to one thing. Jeez, I just wanted to tell you it was a 1d10. <laughs> I know it's a 1d10! <laughs> Oh, he knows. It's it pardon me. Look! I click it! See, look! Look at it! Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, God. I know. I have to fucking smack this shit out of it. Oh, it's unarmed. Did you do my unarmed one? Unarmed's easy. You just attack with any weapon, and you do uh, only one damage plus strength. Oh, okay. Yeah, we wait, don't have to worry about wait, that. Wait, why? That's why I do 15. Wait, what? Okay, so, so unarmed strikes only deal one damage plus your strength modifier unless oh you're a monk. God. Okay, my strength mod. Okay. Yeah, not score, no. Yeah, like, <laughs> LOL, well, score. Why did I just run around punching things? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> He's RPing in stream and ERPing in chat. What a fucking power move. Oh, God damn. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> like, who are you even <laughs> flirting with? Like really you. Me me Oh Alright. What's happening? So bold. There there she is, there's Essie. I, Your I, turn. I was here, I was just letting you talk. Anyway. So <clears throat> vicious mockery on this guy. And what I'm gonna say to him is this. Okay. When your god put teeth in your mouth, he ruined a perfectly good asshole. Ooh. 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 Damn. Damn. Okay. Was that a charisma save? Uh, I think wisdom? wisdom save. It's wisdom. It's wisdom. I failed. Yeah, you failed. Okay, so now I get to roll dabblage. What? 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 Delicious psychic damage. He takes two insult damage. And now he has disadvantage on his next attack, which is the more important part. Except for when you kill him with insults. That's the best time. Got him. Hmm. And I take I disadvantage on my next attack, right? Yes, correct. Alright, well, I'm taking disadvantage on this as I'm thinking about my asshole mouth. <laughs> and I'll try to put down Cad. <laughs> and oh. I will still hit Cad. Unfortunately. Oh. All right, well. Kick him in the back of the head. All mm -hmm. right. He will, uh, okay, so this is going to be some fucking Charlie Chaplin comedy style stuff. He's going to move forward and attack Cad and get spread out over the counter as he's kicked in the back of the head into the <laughs> counter and fucking bounces up. Nice. <laughs> also, ow. Also, ow. <laughs> We win! Hell yeah. Now it's time to interrogate a man. 
All right. By the way, for the record. So, who is the you find someone that we can... only me? What? Huh? Mm hmm. Um, oh. What'd you say? Who here speaks Dorvish? Yeah, just you. Only mm -hmm. me? Okay, cool. Unless I use comprehend languages, but I don't think cool. we want to use cool. a spell cool. uh, uh, good. By wait, the wait, way, wait, wait, wait. Did we this kill the guy? guy? No, this guy's asleep. No, I, I know, but he's asleep by magic. By, uh... Oh no! Yeah, one of them's uh, one of them's uh, like unconscious because you non-lethal the guy as well. I think okay. he's where you were. This guy, this guy's unconscious, and this guy's no, unconscious. Oh, okay. He's yeah, up here. Yeah, yeah, they're all unconscious. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you, we moved him out of the way during combat, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was standing right where Kai was. All right. So are we tying these guys up or what? Uh, well, we need to interrogate this. One, so yes. Canem, you ignored my about. donation, and I will never forgive you for this. What? Oh. Well, fuck, I don't actually have rope for some reason. Not. <laughs> it's okay, I have rope. <clears throat> I think I have rope too, I believe. It's no, I don't. Dying. Probably not. I don't think also, I she's gonna go and <laughs> disarm I people. Have, uh, I give Fuller the rope. All right. He's disarming people. Falor, uh, Falor begins to disarm people, ripping their arms out of their sockets. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do you tie up all the dwarves? The two alive ones. They're all. Alive, They're all alive. But... Nobody yeah. killed anybody. Oh, I thought Yet. three died. No. He just. I mean, he oh, got okay. knocked the fuck out, but he's he's not dead. Yeah, tie them all up then. This arm will tie them all up. Yeah. All right. All right. So they're all tied up and disarmed. And I don't know. Is there something I can like gag them with? Because I don't want them screaming. Yeah. Yeah. Gag the ones that aren't the four. Uh, in fact, there are oily work cloths you can gag them with. Yay! <laughs> Got them. Yep. All right. And finally. The dwarven foreman will awaken as the poison wears off. She just sits there across from him. And how, is that is that a chair or a bench? Uh, yeah. But what she's... is uh, this? Oh, this? Oh, th this is a stone mat. Okay. And she's gonna sit there and just have her ham her war hammer like in front of her. Arcadium, is there a door here? I, uh... No, no door there. Uh I'm gonna go up the stairs and close the door up there. Okay. And then I'm gonna sneak down. Whee! What do you want, pale skin? Didn't have the heart to take me down, huh? I will, uh... I kick him in his chest. <laughs> you have to kick uh, harder than that, you fucking... Say, I will stand. level my bow at his head, and I say, You will tell me where the prisoners are, it! and then I will Do kill it! You. I'm not done with you yet. Ah, oh, then you've got nothing but hollow threats, you little shit. I stab him. With what? Uh, short sword in his leg. Okay, he spits in your face. Pah! Use a real weapon, you fanned fairy! Alright, go over here. What do we got? Oh, Arden, do you have a moment? Yeah. Do we know for certain that this one definitely will know where the prisoners are? Or will there be He's someone else? So is that a yes? Yeah, we got a warhammer. Okay, Big I'm hammer. going to cast detect thoughts. <laughs> All right, do I get a save versus that? No, not for surface level. Well, is there a save for more than that? There is a save if I wish to dig deeper into his memories. But there is a trick with detect thoughts, and I'm going to look over at Arden. Hmm. Tell him, rather ask him where the prisoners are. Most notably, where our friend is. All right. 
<sighs> I'm gonna slam him in the stomach with a warhammer and demand to know where the turtle is being held. Are you trying to say that by asking him questions that you're trying to make an effective make interrogation? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're trying to do. All right. So what ends up happening is uh, <clears throat> when you ask a question, you can't necessarily. So as a mind, you hear. Something I, I know what I know what, yeah. I know, okay, I know what okay. you're doing. I know I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Okay, cool. And to be clear, that is an absolute in any manner. But he doesn't have any special <laughs> training. He's a smith, so it doesn't look like it really matter. Uh, all right. So ask your questions then. Where's the turtle being held? The fuck is a turtle? He doesn't know what a tortle is. Big fucking tortoise. What is a tortoise? You his, put all your prisoners in the same place. His his thoughts reveal that he doesn't know what the hell a tortoise is. Or a turtle. <laughs> and furthermore, what the hell you are. Anyway. This is great. Do you and you ask him where does he put yeah, all his prisoners? I ask you, do they put all the prisoners in the same place? No, that's stupid. Images of his head reveal multiple places in which pits are dug and slaves are kept. They wanted Sheldon for something, right? He was a. He can find gems. Rather, he knows, like, soul the ancient gem. secret of gems. Soul gems. Where is the gem work done? The Dwargar doesn't answer. There are visions uh, flashing of gems. Um, gems from a mine and from a greater uh, workshop that is not here. Mm. They definitely brought him to this keep. Try and be more specific. Mm. Most notably things about Sheldon, what he's trying to do, whatever task they want him for. The one that they recently kidnapped, how about? How many people have you brought in this week? Look, I tell you, you fucker. About twelve. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> he doesn't really pay attention. It's not his department. Ask him what's the weirdest one. Who all did you take from Ledrick's tears? <sighs> the dwarf will smile, and his mind will quicken. What you see in the dwarf's mind uh, disturbs you greatly. It isn't the visages of it isn't the visages of, of, of Sheldon or that which you hoped, but rather something else entirely. What you see uh, are burning houses, screaming civilians, and the rock adorned with a dwergish face. The dwergar just smiles. Not quite what we're looking for yet. Try and be more specific. Ask him where they do the magic shit. You know what I'm going to do? Hmm. I'm going to pull out from my inventory the key of the dark sun. Oh. That I picked up. All right. The Dwergar's eyes go wide as he sees the key. And immediately, in his mind, you're able to see the following. Uh, remnants of a cavern deep beneath the underworld. You sense that it is far away, because in, in the mind of the Dwergar, it seems far away. Uh, across an, <clears throat> an underground sea, there lies a place where the sun is painted. And it is there, adorned with great ruby and topaz gems. And you also hear the words of a Dwergar that you can't quite see, but whose words 
echo with great importance in the smith's mind. Seek the gem cutter and bring him to the cusp of our land. Bring him to the crown of death. Ask him where the crown of death is. Crown of death. Death. That's gotta be a deity. <laughs> How do you get to the crown of day? The Dwarf God does not answer that question. Uh, and in his mind, you see the remnants of a ship lit by lanterns uh, in the depths of a cavernous sea. You see the imagery of a wind-blown chasm as dark creatures scutter and skitter in the night. You see a place not unto like a swamp, great mushrooms glowing in the darkness and with strange beasts flying above. That's all you get. Mm -hmm. Last question before you run out of time on your spell. Okay. Ask him where the gem cutter is now. Well, he didn't know, we know the that. turtle was. Right. Okay, so actually in, the, in that case... Where the sh taking him where the ghost it. ship lies with the glowing mushrooms. <laughs> Where's the ship? What ship? <laughs> the one that takes you to the crown. What? The ghost ship. Ghost ship? There's only <laughs> confusion in his thoughts. He has no idea what you're talking about. Ah, oh, damn it. I guess that's my fault. When the spell fades. Well, that was we done with them then. Well, you can try and do normal interrogations now, but at the very least, I got some pretty good information to which I relate to the entire party. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ilio, you want to rough him up? See if he spits out anything. Oh. You can bring him to the precipice, and if he gives us anything more, then, then you can kill him. How long do you think he'll survive within fire? He's a dwarf. He's a dwarf. No. She still does. She, she doesn't. She don't know what that means. Huh. She points to the forges <laughs> that are burning, piping hot. Oh, He's used God. to the heat. Well, I mean, how used to the heat can you be if you're doused in it? Heat. Whatever. You know what? Make him suffer. I'm gonna no. throw him into the Fire. Uh, All right. Oh. You know, I wonder how handsome Casey would do it. What information are you trying to get from him? Stop. Anything more about where he took the gym cutter? If you want, you can tell him and throw him in. Yeah. She, yeah, like motions towards. To, for her to give him to give her, him to just casually Does not he? watching Does, <laughs> she... listen I'll leave she you guys two kinks I'm gonna go this way uh, I'm just waiting on your guys is okay <clears throat> like I said don't kill him immediately if he starts talking pull him out all right. You know his screaming is gonna bring more people here, yeah? Yeah. Make Just it quick. Okay. I think it's time mm -hmm. we have the conversation. <laughs> it's time to have the talk. All right. What are your alignments? Chaotic. Yeah, good. Chaotic. neutral good. So I'm trying to be like, don't uh, fucking do this. Uh, I'm too chaotic. neutral. I'm chaotic neutral. Torturing someone. Yeah. It's an act of evil. Yes. Yeah. It's not a prime evil, but it is an act of evil. Okay. We're chaotic. 
Chaotic good. I'm chaotic neutral. Neutral good. No, yeah. I'm to be good. clear, I'm not saying that you can't do it. I'm just saying, be aware that your alignment will reflect the actions you take. Yes, yeah. I'm not even necessarily saying that uh, it will shift. I'm just saying keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, really buddy, nice. I have no control over this party, so I'm just going to cry over here is, in the corner. You know what? What, is, what, is, what does Cad think? Cad wants him dead, just like... Cad uh, will frown at the mention of torture. But he won't stop you. He's not necessarily a, a, a good judge of morality when it comes to these fucking people. <laughs> he wants them no, dead. but That's even just... he doesn't want to torture them. Mm -hmm. Well, he's a warrior. Killing the helpless isn't his mm -hmm. jam. Yeah. Well, he wanted me to end his life. Oh, let the bodies hit the coals. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I'm, uh... She... She's gonna yeah. put a hand on Ilio's shoulder. Let me talk to him. Can you even understand him? No, but small can boy can translate. We all understand. She'll take him, I guess, because she probably led him there. Mm -hmm. She's so, holding on to him, but she, she's not moving. She's, <coughs> she's like she motions her to back up. And she looks mm. to the guy. All right, you ready to translate? Yep. All right. These people are going to torture you. If Can you I don't... Translate? If you don't tell them what they want to know. I don't want you to get tortured. I don't like hurting helpless people. What do you want? A dwarf will smile. Don't got the stomach for it, huh? I've seen enough bloodshed to not relish in it. I'll never tell you anything. And by Astaroth, if you don't kill me, I'll see you all in chains. She'll punch him in the fucking face. That was a little uh, too demonic there. I'll see you all in chains! There we go, that's better. <laughs> Is that just an attack roll of my strength? You don't- you can't miss. You punch him in the face. <laughs> okay. I know, but is it a hard hit? <laughs> as hard as you want it to be, I suppose. No, I mean, if you're dealing damage, here, let me- let me fucking- <laughs> yeah. well, Let me do it. Pow. Cross the mouth. Okay. That kind of meaty punch. Yeah. Wait, if you punch him, can I punch him? I'm trying to make a point here. Uh, just knock him out and be done with it. We're wasting time. Well, we just... He probably doesn't know anything anyway. Yeah, you guys are, are really taking a long time both? with this torture, alright? We're not Hurry torturing up. him. Why are you translating oh, both? Oh, could have fooled me. Arden? Hmm? Are you translating both? I don't know why I called you Arden. Yes, I was. Then, just, why would we leave him alive if he's threatened us? Knock him out. Doesn't matter. It does Can't matter hurt us. if he comes after us. He wakes up, someone comes down here, he tells them we did it, then what? He doesn't know where we went. It's true, but they'll, be on, but they'll be on alert regardless. We don't know they're how fast going to be. Travels. If they see a bunch of dead people here, they're gonna be on alert. It's true, but they Either don't have way, a description our of presence all of us. is known. Aren't we? I mean, they saw who we were in the forest before we got knocked. They know we're here. Uh, is there a role to knock him out? Like non lethal? You just, you just knock him out. Okay. Yeah, I clock him. Non lethal knockout. Okay. Pommel to his forehead. Ah, uh, you're a little bitch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Elven <laughs> fuck. I gotta ship the catch. Uh, sleepy time tea. Ah, <laughs> uh, dwarven curses. 
Fuck your curse. Let's go. Messy. You coming? Uh huh. Mm. Yeah. I peek into their pockets. Uh, they each have ten gold on them. Yay! Oh. She looks to Cad uh, as she passes. Cad's eyes. These people did you wrong. I leave their fate to you, but make it quick if you choose to do so. Cad's eyes seem distant as you address him, as if he's looking somewhere else. Cad. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's get on with it then. I checked the foreman's pocket. You're not going to kill them. Actually, <laughs> no. No, I'm not. He'll take a dagger and he'll cut off each of their beards. Fair. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Now, she nods. now they'll carry that shame with them forever. She nods. Let's go. And then he'll spit on them. <laughs> I I'm looting the foreman too. He also has tangled. Yay! <laughs> I love me gold, it's not heavy. Fate worse than death. <laughs> she motions for you to go on in. And she goes. She follows by. Did you guys enjoy your torture time? Man, let me we do got shit. the information we needed. Uh, Cad is currently tying and braiding together dwarven beards. <laughs> <laughs> Making a collection. Not that it matters, but you guys Ooh, are. Ooh, are you gonna make a giant flag out of it? They're alive. Whatever. You didn't actually Sorry. really torture them in the end, They're did you? On the big staircase. Uh, cutting them, punching them, threatening them. Sure, that's not torture. You're right. That's interrogation. Mm -hmm. right. They took that's innocent torture. prisoners and burned down a city. Yeah. Did they specifically do that? They have families. Yes. Who cares? I mean, oh wait, no, I don't know that. What? Whatever. Honestly, whatever you guys do, you I don't really. I care. had a family. Yeah. I know. Hmm. Let's get on with it then. Let's find your friend. All right, guys. If you remember correctly, there are <sighs> group of three, group of five, and a big bad. Ready to do this? Yep. Yep. Well, I had to fucking kill them this time. You know what? I wasn't asking you. Who were you? Wait, asking? who? You. Wait, she looks to the... um Kai. What did this big bad this big bad look like? Was he a description? In... Was he a general? He might have information. I don't care if we deal with the other ones, but he might be someone to keep alive for the moment. He, he's big. <laughs> handsome, handsome, Casey. Handsome, handsome, handsome Casey will snap his fingers, and then he'll yeah, yeah. thief sign over to Kai, and he will say uh, he has no idea. He, has, he had, like, markings on his shoulders, and the others did what he told him. Mm, okay. I'll uh, there, tell there you go. that she can kill all but the leader. Yeah, in, in the end, I'm going to say fuck this group and let's just continue on, shall we? Down we go. All right. All righty. I will transport you guys. <laughs> Whoop! Pow! I'll get out of the wall, Falor. Get out of the wall. But I like the wall. Okay. All right, as you get to the bottom of this staircase, you can see that the iron and stone rot door is uh, rot, not rotting, but rot, uh, is currently closed. On the other side, you can hear uh, moderate, uh, the moderately volumed sound of voices. The dwarven voices are muffled, however. But there is one voice you do recognize. Hmm? 
Yes. Mm. Arden, you recognize one of the dwarves from earlier. Softly, <laughs> softly sobbing in the corner. <laughs> Closest to the door. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, lover boy. That one lives. Gives him a confused look because she has no idea about this alternate love story. Sobbing uncontrollably and just like completely giving up everything related to his social life. <laughs> Let him live. He's been through too much. <laughs> God, I love this group. The best fucking... It's the best person that we could interrogate. No. 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 I, I hate being the only one who speaks Dwarvish and knowing these dwarves personally. <laughs> Alright. I know love. Love doesn't get touched. Love doesn't know me. Love is a battlefield. <laughs> In this case, literally. Oh. All right. What do you guys do? The door is closed ahead of you. Well, we either try to push open a giant wrought iron door quietly, or we bust it open. Quietly. All right, listen. I'll fucking finish this journey with you because I can't get out myself, so um, let's just not fucking do something stupid, right? All right. Jesus Christ. Who's that? <laughs> right. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'm stealthy. You guys stand back. I'll do my thing. All right, cattle stand back. For you. What? I think I'm, I'm under you. You're under her. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the only one starts uh, moving around. Like, wait, wait. <laughs> who is moving? <laughs> so this is the big door, right? Yep, this is the big door. All right. Turns out I was under uh, SC, Not the big like... shape. Uh, do I have anything that I can help with the uh, rotation so there's no sounds when the door is opened? Well, that's what your stealth check is a part of. You can make a sleight of hand check to try and open it carefully, if you wish. Okay. All right, so I'm stealth Oof. and there's my sleight of hand. Hidden. All right. Nice. You open the door slowly, carefully. Uh, you see this dwarf is currently trying to hide in the corner, his head in his hands, his weapon sheathed at his side. Now that the door is open, you can hear him softly whispering, and it seems that he is whispering a prayer. Oh, dearest Vidoric, I know not if you would hear the ashen dwarves call, but please save me from this pain. Don't let me love any more. He moves to time it. But he's also a slaver! I shed a single ah. tear. <laughs> he's a poet! Okay. That's all you see uh, right there, and as you crack it open more, you can mm -hmm. see further into the hallway, and you don't see the signs of any enemies, but at the end of the hallway, you see these three in conversation. Ooh, can I hear that conversation? No, that's too far away. Okay. Mm. Okay. Can I... I have an idea. I, I have one too. Let's hear yours first. I want to whisper through the door in Dwarvish to this guy. Jesus Christ. Oh, hell yeah. Are we taking him? Are we going to get him to win his boo back? Do I remember what his name was? I heard he, his name was definitely mentioned in the earlier conversation. Both of their names were. 
Yeah. What do you actually remember? I don't actually remember. What was it Ro Rage Roderick or something? I think. No. So, it was like Scott. Did an intelligence check? Definitely started with an S. <laughs> yeah, can I do like a check to remember? <laughs> All right, I'll give you an intelligence check to see if you can remember their names. All right, ability check, intelligence. Oh. 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 Robin. All right, what would you like to whisper, if All anything? Right. So he's sort of lying in the corner. Praying. Yep, praying to oh, Viterix. Uh, yeah, stream, stream pickup, but we're back. Oh, God damn it! Um, it's fine, we're back. They didn't miss anything. It was a tiny one. Um, I'll whisper. Hey, hey, buddy. Jesus Christ. Listen. Let me tell you something. Huh? There's... Is there's that, like... Is that you, Viterick? Yes. Make a persuasion... A deception check. <laughs> yes, with, yeah. I think one of their names was Care. Yes. Or something like that. Hang on. Also, I gave, I gave him the help action, so... Oh shit, 13. Alright, let me make an insight roll. Let me see if I believe you. Oh god. <laughs> All right. See if I believe you're a god. <laughs> my god. He's a stupid boy. Oh my god. <laughs> He's a dumb boy. But but him. but Fideric, I did not think that I would hear your call. Of course. Listen, I know because Listen. the love in your heart is so true. And so pure. <laughs> you sweet summer child. <laughs> Dwarvish crying. <laughs> Listen. Things are gonna get better for you. In a in a few moments, you're gonna meet a girl that looks like a fish. What? And uh, and all of her friends, and they're gonna get you out of here because there's plenty more fish in the sea. But Fideric, I if you I must serve my Dwergar king. I must take the soft skins from the surface so that they might build us great statues. Oh, but what it what you're not serving your heart. <gasps> the love inside of you. I can feel it. But Fideric, the call of duty. But the Duty! Duty is outweighed by the call of freedom, of love, of your blossoming heart. Persuasion check. <laughs> help action. Can I get another help action? I'm gonna inspire him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. No. I'm so glad I have help. <laughs> you're, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Can I add, add inspiration to that? Yeah, yes. Um, let me just double check. Let me just double check real quick. I'm pretty sure it's a D8. D8 out uh, of the world. Nope, it's D6. Okay. D6. So that's a 16 total. For a moment, the dwarf looks inward. One moment, please. Oh, we're getting music. Yeah, that or battle music. <laughs> You're right. No more will I chain those that are different from me. And he will drop his weapon to the ground and throw down his armaments and drop his slaver's chains. For he is Calc. I look right, to uh, you, Viderick. Guide me. Uh, 
the door before you is open. It's your choice to walk through it. And then I motion Essie to open the door. I open the door and I also cast silent image to make sure it looks like we are not here. And I gesture the others to hurry. Hurry where? To where I am. Like, get over here. Okay. And then I make, uh, same two to Cad. Get over here, Cad. Get over here. Good boy. Okay, so... I'm still in the... Uh, pardon less. <laughs> I go okay. underneath your legs. I cast silent image to make sure that we do not appear to be here. Cal walks through the door. Need a fish, girl. I poke Essie and then I look at him. Huh? Like, she doesn't know what you said. The she hammers are oh, smoked. She heard me, I was whispering. The hammers. You're a dwarf. Oh. She doesn't speak dwarvish. Mm -hmm. Calc will look down it. at his hands, and he will look up to the stairs. I will uh, whisper to Essie, Go talk to him! Vidurik, <laughs> he'll say, as he turns about. I push Essie outwards. Uh, I can't speak to Irish! <gasps> the Herald! <laughs> Ulak Innentent! Vulaki to Vidoric. I cast... translate into Primordial. Oh, uh, so, so I hear that he speaks in Dwarvish. I whisper in Primordial in Essie's ear. Uh, so what did he say? <laughs> he said, "Oh, Harold of Vidoric, I am not worthy to gaze upon your moistness." Ah. <sighs> I can't speak Dwarven, so I can't communicate to him. So instead I cast Comprehend Languages to keep the guys up. Okay. Alright. I'll speak to All him. Alright. Okay. Just a moment as I close the door. Okay. Oh, I love D&D. Okay. <clears throat> I look to him and I say, Kneel. Oh, was that him kneeling? Yeah. Okay. I look down to him, and I glance back over at this... I'm just gonna have to infer from what... from what I heard from before. Because I did not hear that entire conversation. Mm -hmm. Go Unless now. you want me to whisper in primordial. <laughs> There's going to be too much awkward silence, no. Uh, I'm going to look onto him. And I'm going to rest a hand on his shoulder. He quivers at your touch. Close. I'm going to put a single finger beneath his chin and raise his head. And smile down at him. He blushes. And dwarvish. <laughs> Go now and seek your love. And destroy any in your path. He will nod. He will rise. And to the thrumming of an unseen drum. Will begin his journey to the surface. And I'm going to what slowly whip back to you. I just had to use three spells. I have only one spell slot left. I hope you can manage yourself. Yeah, I'll spare the dying. We're uh -huh. <laughs> you can't see me, but I'm saluting a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so uh, one of your enemies is defeated. Minutes, <laughs> <laughs> no! God, I said so redeemed! Cal you magnificent bastard! <laughs> <laughs> He's been redeemed! <laughs> I, okay, so I still have silent image up over here. Wait, no, I don't yeah. because that's concentration. Uh, that's uh, anyway. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So I can speak dwarvish now. I guess I can insult them better. Hooray! Let's go. You just gonna go then? I guess. All right. Fuck it. She brings us. She has her this fucking shield and hammer out. I'm still stealth. By the way. All right. Mm -hmm. 
The door is slightly open. The rangers can still be seen at the end of the hall, but they do not seem to have noticed you. Okay. Um... Um, I talked to Casey. Casey. He'll snap to attention. Mm. Uh, do any, any of the rooms hold any any groups of people, or are they empty? All right, Casey will slap the floor, and then he will uh, kind of use the floor as like a, a makeshift floor plan, and then he'll sign to you uh, only in hallways. Big boss probably in big room. Sneak. Uh, what was my stealth originally? It was pretty high. It was, no, 19. Sorry. I have 19 stealth right now. Okay. I listen at the door. All right. At this door, you hear nothing. You hear the voices of the rangers getting louder as you move to the south. You also hear that there are voices coming from this hallway. Can I see them? You can. It does not seem that they've noticed you. Is this door open? It is not. You will have to open it. The door, the door opens like a ghost. A whisper. The shadow of a doubt. And inside, you see a small library. Actually, as you look closely, because you're a rogue, you're able to recognize it for what it actually is. It's not just a library. It's actually an, ac it's an accounting office, from what it seems. There are ledgers, uh, trades of sale, and all sorts of inventory notes everywhere. Hmm. Pop in real quick. And a little perception check. Okay. With your perception check, immediately you notice that there are no traps in this room and that there is one particular tome that seems to be standing out. And it's this one right here. Okay. All right. As you pick up the tome, even though uh, it is written in Dwarvish, there are a few words you're able to make out because it seems that some of the right people are involved. You recognize that there are symbols of thieves can't written in this tome as well, which leads you to believe that the dwar that the dwargar has had has has had dealings with surface dwelling rogues, uh, which is not uncommon. Uh, selling people out and all that. I mean that's part of the trade. Um, you notice that the information has went back and forth. There's a couple of lists, but there is one very distinct thing. There is a denial of service. For Ladrig's Tears. It seems that written upon Thieves' Cat, and also from what you're able to make out, that the dwarves were denied service in Ladrig's Tears. And as you look more closely, this area has been underlined. And you also see the image of what appears to be a fist. But the rest of it is written in Dwarvish, and you will need to find somebody to read it. Take the book. Okay. As you move away, make me a special perception check that only you can make. You will have advantage because handsome Casey will assist you. So, just a no normal perception. I roll twice, basically. Okay. Roll again. Whew. 
Unfortunate. Mm. Alright. There's nothing else in the room. Special option. Ah, uh, there's nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Uh, it happens. A one and then a two. Oh, at end. least it wasn't two yeah. ones. That would have been unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, you could have right. filled that. I had the book to Arden. Okay. I need uh, to read the parts. I can read the thieves can't, but I can't. Read. I take a peek. I'm assuming it's written in Dwarvish. It is written in Dwarvish. And congratulations. You have found a ledger which has, lead, uh, which has led you to the next clue. It seems that your tortle patron did make his way through here. And he has already been sold and transported. It is noted here in the, in the ledger that he is en route to uh, Blackfinger, uh, Blackfinger Port. And in addition to that, uh, you can see that he was apparently traded for 12,000 gold pieces. Jesus. Sheldon's really valuable to somebody. You also notice that there are some that there are some that there is some symbology here that looks like dwarvish but isn't. You don't recognize what it is. I've got comprehend languages. Uh, that um, will not assist you for a ciphered language such as thieves can't. It seems that oh. the thieves can't missed by Kai has now been found by Arden because what would, what Kai may have thought to be simple dwarven letters is revealed mm -hmm. to actually be hidden within the entry to Ladric's tears. It seems that your roguish brethren suspected that you might find this and has left and they have left you a secret message. Okay, let's see. I point out the uh, hidden message to Kat and say, uh, did you catch this? Mm hmm. Must not have been wearing my glasses. You wear glasses? Occasionally. Don't as worry you, about it. As you look carefully, the thieves' cant is written Dear brother, apologies we could not tell you of the missing of your friend. We have done what we can to help hide his location. But in case he is found, you should know that there is something that we left inside of the accountant's office. No doubt they stored it there with the rest of their ledgers. We hope that it will help you. Oh, Jesus, I have to go back. Okay. Well, okay, so what was the name of the place where someone was sold to? Blackwater Port? Blackfinger Port. Blackfinger Port. Uh, do I know where that is geographically? No, because it's in the underworld. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah. Is there like, yeah, uh, I'll tell Kai. It says, uh, look for a map while you're in there because I have okay. no clue where Blackfinger Port is. There's, um, a couple groups in the hallways, so. I'm gonna go back to the accounting room. If you guys could keep a lookout through the peak, just in case things go down. Stay stealthy. Great. All right, I'll roll a perception check for lookout. All right. Me assist, smile. Uh, I'll re-roll it, but I got a 19 on the first one. Only yeah. A possibility you get a 20. One in 20 chance. Okay. Let me stealth my way back. I I did write it down, chat. You stealth I'll down remember. the hallway and shift into the door. You now find yourself back in the accountant's office, and you see a certain tome that does not quite belong. You missed it the first time, but now that you know what you're looking for, you see it here. And here mm -hmm. is a book that is marked in Thieves' Cant, which is disguised as a ledger of transit. But it is not. It's all gibberish and nonsense. But you recognize it for what it is. It is marked by your brethren. In it, you see that there is a map used as a bookmark and hidden inside. And there is also another smaller book hidden in its pages. All right. 
The book reads, The Importance of Angles. And you see that it is a book of the angling of one's face. Hmm. Would you like to read this book? Yeah, I'm going to skim through it. Your smolder increases one level. <laughs> Fucking god. Level three, baby. <laughs> level three smolder. Yeah. It's caught up I, in the flame I, I, level. Is that really what we went back for? <laughs> Here's a map. That was what the special check was for. It was for the map, but that was. I don't know which one was worth more. <laughs> the smolder will come into play. Just you watch. <laughs> no, I'll use it. Don't worry. <laughs> Level three smolder. You will need at the very least a level eight smolder to woo this woman. <laughs> Alright. You have found the gift left by your brothers. Okay. I'm gonna go back up here. And I'm going to I'm gonna keep the gift and then I'm gonna put the ledger back. Okay. Alright. So there was a map and something that really doesn't pertain to you guys. You don't need to worry about that. So, um, I take out the map. Okay. What is I this map? look for black finger points on the map. You see that the map is, uh, has been. Well, you see that it's a rare old map, but it does seem to be a map of the underworld, and you do see a port. Some several miles to the northwest of your current position. Considering that the place marked with an X is where you currently are. And it does seem to correlate geographically with where Ladric's Tears can be found. So it seems that you have a map and you have a location. You must now chase down your patron through the underworld if you wish to save him. Okay. okay. All right. Team meeting. One other thing before we go plunging into the underworld. We still have that debt to pay to load. Yeah, but. Yeah. Sheldon, though. I know. It's just wasn't it a thing that if they unlikely that, that our target fuck that? Yeah. Yeah. It's unlikely that our target would also be in the other. So if we go after Sheldon, just know that we might be drawing the ire of Woad. We can't just leave him; he'll die if we don't go after him. I agree. I'm just making sure us. everyone understands the circumstance. We'll get Wode's target once Sheldon is free. Anyway, he can't sleep for long. We ruined that, right? Maybe mm. he'll get him himself. Maybe. I still have the ingredients to make that drought. For the blueprints, if we can find them. Well, yeah, you took it from him, so... I imagine he won't have it anymore. I don't know. Mm. And I have them too, so. Alright. And actually, wait, you have a list of those ingredients, yeah? Yeah. So we can make it if we can find them. If. I, no, I I'm not thinking about that. I'm not to... thinking about that. If. If we do lose trail of him, he's going to need to get those ingredients back. If we find um... the people that do that, that need those, that have those ingredients, we can find him. After our business is done, I shall have done. Clever. Alright, we have what we need. We should actually get out of here, honestly. Well, the question is, is where, how do we get to the underworld? There's a ship, I believe. <clears throat> to be clear, you're already in the underworld. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 we have to continue. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, can I find God. where we are on this map? 
Cat, do you know how to get to that place? To the port? Yes. Ah, uh, the port's behind the fort. Mushroom man showed way. Alright. A few miles. Then we... then we fight our way there. Go back way came. Path clear. Oh. Alright. Coming with us, Cad? No. What do you mean, no? He's here to kill them, not to find our person. I, uh... You... Gone. Yeah, I get down on one knee next to Cat. And I, uh... Give him the flask of bourbon from my inventory. Hmm. The parting gift. I'll Wait. take your drink and put it away. Wait. So you're gonna let it die. No. Can we at least help him with this place first? There are people here. He's probably gonna fight them. I imagine you're gonna go and try to fight these guys. She looks to Cat. I want to help him get his revenge too, but we can't let Sheldon get further away from us. Too much time. Too much wind has blown through the cavern. And you will lose your friend. Do not worry for me. You have paid you come your with debt us. to me. You should come with us. I cannot. More. I cannot leave. Not after what they did. I do not ask you to understand. I don't, but... Think of it this way. Apparently they spent a lot of money trying to get Sheldon. You help us get him back. Well, you're hurting them more than... More than just killing a few of them. And you can kill a lot of them on the way. And come back and split their heads open on the way out. Might die on way. At least here, die killing. Killing that which I seek. Give my wishes to your family when you see them. Mm. I lay a hand on his shoulder and I give him inspiration. Mm. Go now, surface ones. Your patron awaits you. Thank you. For a time, I had friends again. You still do. I'll take out his whetstone and sharpen his sword. Should you survive, I'd like to see you again. If I live, I come find you. If not, then in the dream. I nod to him. When you do, I want to learn about your family. Hmm. May the seven sharp sharpen your blade. Good luck. Guess we're gone. Farewell, surfacelings. And speed of wind to guide you. As you turn and go up the stairs. Cad will wait a moment until you are gone. And then he will turn to the door to the south. One way or another, I will see you again. One story ends, but another continues.
You now know where your patron lies. And you must hurry to save him. And I believe that is an apropos place to end it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. mm. God damn it. Listen, he's gotta walk his path and we gotta walk ours. <laughs> he's gonna he die, boy. Path, man. I, if he fucking comes back, I'm giving him a medal. Good game, guys. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> I hate you. Emotions. Oh, I love this part about the indie, though. You get so fucking involved and shit. You have to choose between so many things. I'm just glad I got to save Calc. I mean, yeah. 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 We saved we, one. We save not only freed him, we freed his heart. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Plot twist. Him and Calc come together and find <laughs> us in the future. Both of us like, with his love. He's, he's prayed to the god of love and he's like, is that you? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, it's me. That's gonna be some <laughs> kind of sacrilege, <laughs> BT dubs. Oh, oh yeah, no. it's gonna happen. Totally. Oh, uh, what's, yeah. what's a little light blasphemy amongst <laughs> friends? <laughs> be like, uh... Gonna have to be, say my prayers at night. Very sorry, Vitterick, for impersonating you. <laughs> I mean, but it was in the name of greater love. It's me, I your mean, boy, to God. Fair. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you did it in the name of love, sort of, yeah, so. Shrugged. Yeah, we might be okay because we did through it. So, yeah. Nate can follow his heart now. Man, that was good. We're, we're gonna see him tacked and fucking. And we had everything Perfect. this session. A little, a little a little bit of slamming, some exploration, mm -hmm. some feelings. That's good stuff right there. <laughs> and there you go. God, it's me, Arden. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, gonna close it all up. Uh, all but, right. but are we good for next week? Yes. Mm -hmm. So the thirteenth. Always glad to slam. Thirteenth. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. Good old D and D. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. The feels. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Good Thanks times. <gasps> All right. Well, mm -hmm. I guess now I'll go see what Tiffany's doing. Bye. Yeah. Anyway, for me. thanks. Right. Thanks for uh, oh, thanks for playing, Gator guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, small yeah. question. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, is there FK Thursday? Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. Is that Wait, FK starting FK is now? Tonight? Yeah, there's FK tonight. I'm pretty late. I gotta, I gotta switch over to FK. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, I'll see you there, buddy. Yep. Bye. See you, nerd. Hopefully, I don't die. Okay. Now I have to get ready for... FK. Jesus Christ! Why does Skype do that? Holy shit! That's so loud! All right, let's go see if people show up. All righty, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. Um, yeah, hopefully FK will actually happen tonight and we can have the graduation. If not, 
then that will suck. But we'll see what we can do. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys uh, in a little bit, hopefully. Uh, real quick, before I do go, um, if you guys like what you saw, you know, feel free to follow all of that. Um, I want to say thanks to everybody that uh, that that watches these D and D streams because uh, it's it's honestly it's the biggest reason that I oh, man. I don't even know really what to say. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. It, it means a lot. Um, if you like this D&D stuff and you want to be a part of it, um, I have a D&D &D Discord, which is a uh, a living world of D&D &D that you can feel free to jump in and be a part of the same world as all of your favorite stream characters as well as a bunch of other characters uh, if you guys want to check that out. Uh, we'll be having a uh, a new character wave soon, opening up the way for about 40 new people. So that'll be pretty fun. Um, also, um, if you like what you saw, uh, feel free to, to, to follow. And if you really like what you saw, feel free to sub. Just so everybody knows, um, we hit... Uh, we fell underneath my full-time streaming goal of 700. Uh, and I'm going to be trying my damnedest to get that back up. Because if I don't have at least that much, then I won't be able to full-time stream anymore. So, that's something that kind of happened. Um, but we're going to try and get it back. Anyway, thanks for... Oh, there's one more thing. Uh, just so everybody knows, FK is going, is going to be uh, finishing up this week. And within the next couple of months, I'm going to be starting up a new RP group. Which is going to feature <clears throat> uh, a fully created map and model structure where everything's going to be made by the same artist. It's going to have the same immersion. Uh, and hopefully it'll be 10 times better than what I did with FK. So I'm hoping that that'll actually, uh, yeah, that'll help everybody out and everybody have a good time and watch that. I'm really excited about it. I'm putting, uh, like my all into it. So I hope to see you guys then when I do that. But, uh, but anyway, I got to get going, and hopefully I'll see you guys in a little bit. Have a good one, guys. And thanks for all the subs and donations and all that good stuff. <laughs>